Around 300,000 years ago, during a period of dramatic climate change, the species we now know as Homo sapiens began to evolve in Africa. Like the other early human species alive at that time, these ancestral Homo sapiens had to rely on foraging and hunting to obtain their food. However, they also developed new behaviors that helped them adapt and survive in the unstable, ever-changing environments they inhabited. In our previous video, we discussed the evolutionary journey of humans, but we left off at the point when Homo sapiens first migrated out of Africa. This likely left you with lingering questions and a sense of unfinished puzzle pieces. Rest assured, we would satisfy your curiosity about how our species came to dominate the world in this video. We will delve deeper into the story, providing a thorough analysis of how Homo sapiens conquered the world and became the sole surviving human lineage. So sit tight and make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Several million years ago, the genus Homo, to which we belong, diverged from other hominid lineages. These hominids were our distant cousins, each with their own unique characteristics and adaptations. Among these early Homo species was Homo erectus, an ancestor that likely gave rise to our own species, Homo sapiens. Around 300,000 to 200,000 years ago, the distinct species of Homo sapiens emerged in Africa. This was a spectacular moment in our evolutionary history as our ancestors began to develop the unique traits and abilities that would come to define us as a species. Genetic evidence from studies of mitochondrial DNA and autosomal DNA supports the African origin of Homo sapiens, indicating that all modern humans share a common ancestral population. But that's not all. As our species evolved and began to spread across the African continent, we encountered other hominid species, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans. Remarkably, comparative genomic analyses have revealed that we share a significant portion of our DNA with these other hominids, suggesting that interbreeding events occurred in the past. However, the population of Neanderthals appears to have declined rapidly, and they eventually went extinct around 40,000 years ago, likely due to a combination of factors, including competition for resources, interbreeding, and the superior adaptive capabilities of Homo sapiens. While the exact nature of the interactions between Homo sapiens and Denisovans is still not fully understood, genetic evidence suggests that some admixture occurred with modern human populations in Asia and Oceania carrying a small percentage of Denisovan ancestry. In 2016, researchers led by Matthias Meyer at the Max Planck Institute reported that DNA recovered from fossils at the Spanish site of Cima de los Huesos indicated Homo sapiens split from its closest evolutionary relatives, the Neanderthals, more than 500,000 years ago. This suggested an older fossil record of our species was yet to be discovered. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Building on this finding, a team led by Jean-Jacques Hublin has now unearthed additional fossils from the previously undisturbed parts of the Jebel Irhud site. The recovered remains, including skull and jawbones, as well as stone tools and animal remains, have been dated to between 350,000 and 280,000 years ago. Analysis of the Jebel Irhud fossils revealed that they exhibit a mix of features. The face, lower jaw, and teeth resemble those of Homo sapiens, but the brain case has an elongated shape more characteristic of archaic human species. These differences in brain case shape are associated with variations in brain organization. Based on their findings, the researchers conclude that the Jebel Irhud remains represent the very root of our species, the oldest Homo sapiens ever found in Africa or elsewhere. While they do not yet possess all the hallmark traits of modern humans, these ancient individuals represent an important transitional form with features that could have gradually evolved into the anatomy seen in people today. This discovery challenges the traditional view of a strictly East African origin for Homo sapiens, suggesting a more complex and geographically dispersed process of our species' emergence across the African continent. In 2004, research led by Reitmeier revealed that the emergence of Homo sapiens was marked by significant anatomical and cognitive advancements that set our species apart from earlier hominid species. Reitmeier emphasized that physically, Homo sapiens are characterized by a larger and more complex brain, a prominent forehead, and a reduction in brow ridges and facial features compared to their predecessors. In a 2018 research paper, Coolidge and Wynn linked these anatomical changes with the development of advanced cognitive abilities, including enhanced problem-solving skills, language, and abstract reasoning. 
The increased brain size of Homo sapiens is believed to have enabled the expansion of the frontal and prefrontal cortices, which are responsible for higher order cognitive functions such as planning, decision-making, and self-awareness. This neurological development is thought to have facilitated the emergence of complex social structures, the ability to plan for the future, and the capacity for symbolic thought and language. Alongside these cognitive advancements, Homo sapiens also exhibited a more gracile skeletal structure and a reduced reliance on physical strength. This anatomical change is believed to have been driven by the need for increased mobility, cooperation, and the development of sophisticated tools and weapons. These adaptations became crucial for survival and the exploitation of diverse environments. The combination of these anatomical and cognitive advancements allowed Homo sapiens to develop a unique set of capabilities, including advanced communication, the ability to create and use complex tools, and the capacity for abstract thinking and cultural expression. These traits ultimately contributed to the successful expansion and dominance of our species across the globe. The expansion of Homo sapiens out of Africa marked a pivotal chapter in the rise of our species to global dominance. According to the scientific consensus, the first major wave of migration occurred around 60,000 to 50,000 years ago, a period known as the Out of Africa event. This mass migration was facilitated by significant technological and cultural advancements, including the development of more sophisticated tools, the use of boats for sea crossings, and the emergence of complex language and social structures. Genetic and archeological evidence suggests that during this period, Homo sapiens expanded into various regions, including the Middle East, Asia, Europe, and eventually reaching Australia and the Americas. The routes of this dispersal were diverse, with some populations following coastal routes, while others traversed the interior of Eurasia. One of the primary routes for the expansion of Homo sapiens out of Africa is believed to have been through the Middle East, known as the Levantine Corridor. This region served as a crucial gateway, allowing our ancestors to access the vast land masses of Eurasia. Archaeological evidence from sites like Skul and Kafsa in Israel suggests that early modern humans had settled in the Levant as early as 100,000 years ago. Another important route of migration is thought to have been through the Arabian Peninsula, where Homo sapiens spread eastward into the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. This southern route allowed our species to rapidly colonize diverse environments, including the island of Sahul, which at the time comprised present-day Australia and New Guinea. The timing of these migratory events has been the subject of ongoing research and debate. While the initial wave of migration out of Africa occurred around 60,000, 50,000 years ago, there is evidence that earlier dispersals may have taken place as well. For instance, the discovery of Homo sapiens fossils in China, dated to around 40,000 years ago, suggests that the expansion of our species may have occurred in multiple waves. The successful expansion of Homo sapiens out of Africa and across the world can be attributed to a combination of technological, cultural, and ecological factors. One of the key factors was the development of more sophisticated tools and weapons, which provided our ancestors with a competitive advantage over other hominid species and allowed them to exploit a wider range of resources. The emergence of projectile technologies, such as the spear thrower and the bow and arrow, enabled Homo sapiens to hunt more effectively and defend themselves against predators. Additionally, the use of tools for tasks like fire making, food processing, and shelter construction improved the ability of our species to adapt to diverse environments. The rise of complex language and communication skills also played a crucial role in the expansion of Homo sapiens. The ability to transmit knowledge, share information, and coordinate group activities allowed our ancestors to develop more sophisticated social structures and cultural practices. This, in turn, facilitated the exchange of ideas, the dissemination of technological innovations, and the formation of larger social networks all of which contributed to the successful dispersal of Homo sapiens. In 2001, Erlinson, in his research paper, opined that the development of maritime technology, such as the construction of boats and the ability to navigate across bodies of water, enabled Homo sapiens to colonize new territories, including islands and coastal regions. This allowed our species to bypass geographical barriers and access resources in previously inaccessible areas, further expanding the range of habitats they could occupy. Ecological factors such as changes in climate and resource availability also played a role in the dispersal of Homo sapiens. 
Barnowski et al., 2017, asserted that during the Pleistocene epoch, the Earth's climate underwent significant fluctuations, including periods of glaciation and interglacial warming. These environmental changes influenced the distribution and availability of resources, which in turn shaped the migration patterns and adaptive strategies of our ancestors. By demonstrating the flexibility to exploit a wide range of environments, Homo sapiens was able to outcompete other hominid species and establish a global presence. The development of increasingly sophisticated toolmaking and weapon technologies was a crucial factor in the rise of Homo sapiens. Archaeological evidence suggests that our ancestors were skilled in the production of a wide range of tools and weapons, which provided them with significant advantages over other hominid species. One of the key innovations was the development of more complex stone tool technologies, such as the Lavalois technique, which allowed for the systematic and efficient production of sharp-edged flakes and blades. These tools were used for a variety of purposes, including butchering animals, processing plant materials, and crafting other implements. The ability to create specialized tools for specific tasks reflects the cognitive capabilities of Homo sapiens and their capacity for problem solving and innovation. In addition to stone tools, Homo sapiens also developed more advanced weapons, such as spears, javelins, and eventually the bow and arrow. The development of fire-making technology was another significant innovation that had a profound impact on the lives of our ancestors. The ability to control and use fire allowed Homo sapiens to cook food, providing more efficient nutrient absorption, as well as to create light and heat, which enhanced their ability to inhabit diverse environments. The mastery of fire also enabled the development of new tool-making techniques, the production of more complex tools, and the creation of shelters for protection. These technological advancements, combined with the cognitive abilities of Homo sapiens, provided them with a competitive edge that contributed to their successful expansion and dominance over other hominid species. The emergence of advanced communication and language skills was a pivotal development in the rise of Homo sapiens. The ability to communicate complex ideas, share information, and coordinate group activities played a crucial role in the success of our species. Linguistic and archaeological evidence suggest that Homo sapiens possessed a more sophisticated language system compared to their hominid predecessors. This language capability allowed for the efficient transmission of knowledge, the development of complex social structures, and the creation of shared beliefs and cultural practices. The rise of Homo sapiens as the dominant human species on the planet had profound consequences for the other hominid lineages, ultimately leading to their extinction or assimilation into our own gene pool, cementing our species' position as the sole surviving human lineage. The demographic dominance of Homo sapiens, characterized by rapid population growth and extensive geographic expansion, was a critical factor in the rise and global success of our species. Archaeological and genetic evidence suggests that the initial populations of Homo sapiens in Africa were relatively small, numbering in the thousands or tens of thousands. However, as our ancestors developed more sophisticated hunting and foraging techniques, as well as advanced social and cultural capabilities, their population began to grow exponentially. One of the key drivers of this population growth was the improved ability of Homo sapiens to exploit a wider range of resources and adapt to diverse environments, as discussed earlier. The development of more efficient food procurement strategies, the use of fire for cooking, and the creation of more robust shelters and clothing all contributed to the increased survival and reproductive success of our species. Furthermore, the emergence of complex social structures and the ability to coordinate collective efforts allowed Homo sapiens to establish larger and more stable settlements, further facilitating population growth. The sharing of knowledge, the division of labor, and the development of trade networks all played a role in supporting the demographic expansion of our species and increase their ability to overcome the challenges of the world. That brings us to the end of this video. Let us know what you think about the rise of Homo sapiens in the comments below.